Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are on whatever part of the world you are. So here I am again together. So and how are you guys? How are you? I hope everybody's fine. So as I always expect. So here I am together. So and okay, wishing you all the best and please be safe and always take care. So once again, as I said, together as one is at your service. Please, 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 those who haven't subscribed to Gather as one, please press subscribe. Then the notification button, please press all. And you will always have together as one whenever I have to upload a new video. So here I am again for a controversial topic. I don't even call it controversial, which is just, which is, it's just a normal thing actually. So we're going to talk about what reaction is and what uh, opinion is. I think I have discussed this uh, two times already in my previous vlog. What is an opinion and what is a reaction? Okay, so it's really so, I really don't know if the things that are going on right now are, are being sensation, how would you call that? Masyadong sensation, it's being sens sensationalized. It is because of, it is just like a part of our culture. So okay, so this is what it is. Reaction versus opinion. So what do we mean by reaction? Okay, when we talk about your reaction, it is about the action performed or a feeling of experience in response to a certain situation or an event. Okay, again, when we talk about reaction, it is the action performed or a feeling experience in response to a certain situation or event. So we have the word reaction. So re is a prefix and action will be the root word. So when we say re, it could be repeat, redo. That is, uh, what, it, that is what uh, prefix re is all about. And then when we talk about action, it is a movement, right? It is a movement. It is what you can see. It's not what you feel. When you say an action, it is what you can see, not just what you have felt. But when you're going to have the word reaction, it is either what you have seen or what you have felt. But when you say what you have felt or what you have think, that is now the time that it might fall to the category of what opinion is. Okay, so there are different kinds of reaction actually. So we have also the reaction or it is the person's ability to respond physically or mentally to a certain stimuli. Okay, so when we say physical reaction, uh, in case, here comes a fist, it's about to hit you. So what will be your reaction? Of course, you have to protect yourself. Either you will be the first to hit that person, or since you have a slow reaction, you will be hit first. You will be hit first, right? Sorry about that. So you will be hit first. So, or you're going to, what you call it, Oh, sorry. <laughs> or kailangan siguro. Yung parang, ano, kailangan lumis ka para hindi ka matamaan, di ba? So, yun natin tawag na physical reaction. So, how about the mental reaction? So, when we say mental reaction, but you are talking about external stimuli, okay? So, because there are two kinds of stimuli. You have the uh, internal and external. So, we'll just only... So, what, will, what do we mean by stimuli? Actually, that is an ability to respond to a certain incident. That is a stimuli, okay? So, halimbawa na lang, we're going to talk about external reaction first. So, nandiyan na, kaya uh, nakita mo na. So, magkakaroon ko ng counter-reaction yun. Ano gagawin mo in response to a certain reaction that you have seen or something that will attack you? So, what will you, what you gonna do? So, yun po yung magiging reaction natin, okay? So, and then, pag sinabi natin mentally reaction, so there is a quickness of your thinking on what you gonna do in order to protect yourself or in order to respond to a certain situation or an event so palaging ginagamit po yung utak it's not only the power it's not only your physical aspect so there will always be a mental reaction kaya lang minsan sinasabi hindi ako nakapag-react kasi na blanco ako di ba yung parang you were caught flat-footed or you were caught unaware it happened so fast that you were blacked out, di ba? So, yun tinatawag natin uh, mentally reaction. But since you were blacked out, you weren't able to react at all. 
So ano po ang mga dapat natin gawin pag tayo po ay nagkakaroon ng reaction? So sa ngayon po, medyo nagiging controversial po yung salitang reaction, especially sa mundo ng YouTube. So, now, when we say reaction video actually here in YouTube or social media, is this something that people had seen? Diba? But since of the time element, and since of the uh, cultural differences, so you can't help but do your reaction video. So parang dalawang aspect. What do you, why do you make a reaction video? So there are two aspects why you have to do it. Because of the increasing, uh, what you call that, demand or the time, increasing demand of the time and the individual or cultural differences. Kaya kailangan magkaroon ka ng reaction. Kasi sasakayan mo yun eh. Yun ang pinag-uusapan ngayon. At saka isa pa, nakakaiba-iba ang mga tao kung ano talagang paniniwala ng bawat tao. So bilang ikaw na reactionist, gagawa ka ng reaction mo. Samantalin mo yun dahil that is now the right time for you to do it. Dahil yun ang pinag-uusapan, di ba? Yun ang nangyayari sa ngayon at yun ang pinag-uusapan sa gumawa ka ng reaction video. So, paano ka gawa, gagawa ng reaction video? So, pag sinabi natin reaction video, you have to consider the scope and the limitation. Kailangan alam mo kung hanggang nandun lang, hanggang saan ka mapaparoon, hanggang saan ang iyong magiging reaction. Di po ba? Para minsan, okay, gumawa ka ng mga kanta, just few seconds, kailangan hindi lang yung kanta talaga agad, kailangan you have to give, uh, give a comment about what you have heard para huwag ka daw makapiright, in few seconds kailangan may response, kagad ko yung mag-comment kagad regarding that kind of video so they can uh, <coughs> file a copyright sa'yo so, paano ka gagawa ng reaction? okay, before we can go, uh, go further with that, so we have to uh, no, what are the different kinds of reaction? So, tulad nga sinabi ko, pag sinabi natin reaction, it is your response to a certain response either physically or mentally to, a, to an external stimuli. Diba? Kasi mayroon yung action na nakita mo na eh. Nakita mo yung action, so magiging response ka doon, so magiging reaction. It is your respond of what had happened. So, there are two kinds of reaction as well. You are going to have the positive or the negative reaction. Okay po ba? So, or, we can just sum up uh, we can just summarize it into two. So, if there will, uh, we can go to what you call that, the kind of action, limited to the action. So, when you have the act reaction, there will always be a counter reaction. Okay? So, ang counter reaction, yun yung magkakaroon ng positive or negative reaction. So, being a reactionist, you have to subject yourself for a certain counter reaction. Either they will agree with you or they will have to disagree with you. So, if it happened that they have to disagree with you, take it. Diba? Ganun lang yun. Kaya nga eh. Kaya ang sinasabi natin nagkaroon ko na reaction video. Because of the timeliness nangyayari ngayon at unang-una nagkakaroon ng iba't ibang paniniwala ang mga tao. So, samantalin mo yun. Gumawa ka na reaction mo. And then, bahala na kung sino mga kakampi sa'yo at saka kung sino babatikos sa'yo. So, pag sinabi natin binatikos, I don't know why you do have this kind of concept that whoever, whoever disagree with you, you always say mga bashers ninyo. So, anong gusto ninyo? Kayo na lang pwede magsalita? To ayaw nyo marinig ako? Ano yung sinasabi ng mga hindi sumasang ayaw sa inyo? No, you should not do that. You have to accept whatever criticism we're gonna face in social media. So, if you're not ready about it, go. Gano'n lang po kasimple. Di po ba? Okay. So, as I said, there will always be the counter-reaction, either a positive or a negative reaction. Mega mega shout out, Michelle Japina, Bunso. <laughs> Napapatawa ako ni Michelle talaga. Pag nagsasalita ako about reaction and everything, Michelle Japina enters my mind. <laughs> I can't help it. At lalo-lalo na rin. Sige, in God to the Ortiz at Commander Churba. Uh, isama na rin natin si Chris Ulo. Pag yung mga apat na yan, pag halimbawa, nagsasalita ako, if I'm gonna be th thinking over what reaction is all about, the four of them enters my mind. Kasi, kung sila eh, yung mga, they have their own technique. How they make their own reactions. Pero natutuwa ko. I learned from them a lot. Okay, Michelle. Grata Dirty is Commander Churban. Chris Ulo. Okay. So, yun po. Pinag-uusapan natin kung ano ang kasi yung action. So, nandun yung rare response mo doon sa action na nakita mo kaya doon sa action na naramdaman mo. Diba? So, nakakaroon ka ng reaction. So, sa reaction naman, pag sinabi mo, nag-gumawa ka ng reaction, magkakaroon din ng 
counter reaction. So, which is either positive or negative. Pero po, since we are in social media, we are known to be influencer, kailangan po, if possible, we have to be choosy on the words we're gonna use. Wala din lang ating isipin. Suppose yun sa'yo, binato, yung salitang ginamit mo, ano ang mararamdaman mo? Masakit kaya? Kaya nakakala mo masakit. Huwag mo na pong gamitin. Pero you think it's okay. So pag binalik sa'yo yun, just say it's okay. Kasi ginamit mo yun eh, di ba? Kasi minsan may mga mahilig magsalita mo ng mga maanghang. Pero pag binalik nila sa kanila yun, sasabihin, ikaw na basher ko, gano'n, ikaw na ganyan. Hindi po tayo perfecto. Even I myself, I know. People will have, will not, a lot of people will not believe what I'm going to tell you right now. But for me, it's not. It's just like, it's a free country. You have my freedom, you have your freedom. We have to respect each other's freedom. Ganun lang po yun. But as far as I can do it, I will never use foul language. Not unless, pinakalaman nyo ang aking ilong. Ganun po yun. <laughs> okay, so we talk about counter-reaction. So usually, pag gumawa tayo ng counter-reaction, sana po, ilimit lang po natin doon sa nakita nating action, doon sa nakita nating reaction, hanggang doon lang po. Kung halimbawa man, hindi mo nakita mismo, you haven't witnessed, witnessed with your own eyes and your own ears. Please, sabihin ninyo kung kanino nyo nalaman. You have to acknowledge whom you got the news or whom you have seen the action. Kaya nga maganda yung sabi ni Ate Ingrata de Ortiz kanina. She will only limit her reaction out of those uh, reaction that Kuya Val Santos Mastubang had made. Sana ganun lahat, lalo na po sa atin sa Kalingap. Mayroon po tayo, mayroon pong founder. So let the founder do it. Eh, wag po natin siyang pangunahan. Let, as a respect, kahit wala po siyang sinasabi, as a sign of respect, wag mo natin siyang pangunahan. Let him do it, what he thinks is the best. And then, you're gonna react on whatever he had said. So if in case you don't believe on what Kuya Val or what other people had said. So that is the time you have to make your counter-reaction. You have the right to do that. You have the right to do it. But it's a sign of respect po. Doon siya namubuno. Siya na lang muna. I-base po natin doon. So yun ang tinatawag natin scope and delimitation of our reaction. Kung handang hanggang doon lang po. Kung handang hanggang doon lang. Huwag po tayong kumuha. Kung ang pinag-uusapan lang po ninyo ay yung bunga ng punong kahoy. Huwag na po natin pangilaman yung ugat, yung bulaklak, yung dahon, yung mga twigs ng kahoy na yun. Dahil ang pinag-uusapan lang po natin, matamis ba ang, bu ang bunga ng dalandan? Yun lang po. So hanggang dalandan lang po tayo, huwag na po natin pakailaman yung mga, yung mga sanga, yung mga bulaklak, yung mga dahon, no? kaya yung puno, huwag na po natin pakailaman. Dahil ang pinag-usapan lang po natin ay kung ano ang lasa ng dalandan. That is our scope and delimitation. Pero kung ang pinag-usapan mo ay dalandan at nakialam ka doon sa kabilang bunga, halimbawa may katabi ng bunga na ano ba yun? Ano ba pwedeng katabi ng bunga? Kay Mito. <laughs> na yun. Sinatawag niya lang you're beyond your delimitation. You're beyond your scope. Kaya nakakaroon ng sanga-sanga kasi hindi po natin alam kung hanggang taha, saan tayo, kung hanggang saan ang iyong reaction. And one more thing, when we talk about reaction, especially when we are in social media, no matter how much you know the truth, if you think it will hurt the credibility and, the, and it uh, violates the privacy of a certain individual that you're making that kind of reaction. Sana po, irespeto natin yun. Respeto lang po. Tapos pag may nagbas sa inyo, yung manghihingi kayo ng respeto. Bakit ganun? Hindi nyo nirespeto yung tao na ginawa nyo ng reaksyon. Tapos yung mga magdidepensa dun sa, ne, sa taong, uh, you to, that person that you have taken for granted, the person you have treated like a, like a trash, and then if they're gonna defend them, they're gonna say something in their behalf, magagalit kayo, nanghihingi kayo ng respeto, na saan ang katarungan, na tulad ng sinasabi ninyo. Hindi po kayo na una po, hindi kayo na rumispeto. Sa akin po, as I said, this is just my opinion. Pag-uusapan po natin kung anong ibig sabihin mamaya ng opinion. 
So, paggawa po ng reaction, oo, oh, oh, marami yun, marami, marami sanga-sanga yan, sanga-sanga, there are different kinds of reaction po. We also have this kind of physical, mental, we have scientific reaction. So, hindi po, ilalimit ko lang, tulad palagi po sinasabi, even when I talk about the values, I always limit myself on discussing about how it is related and how it is linked to you too. Hanggang din lang po ako. So, I know my scope, I know my delimitation, I don't, I don't go beyond my delimitation. I don't go beyond my scope. I just limit myself on that. Now, if in case gusto nyo, napalawakin nyo, feel free. And I will discuss it in my future vlogs. Ganyan lang po. So, ililimit ako lang po, tuling nga ng sinabi, another definition of reaction is that making a reaction video. It is, uh, the people react to something that is what you call timely. Yun ang nangyayari ngayon. And especially, there is an increase of cultural differences. So, you end up doing your own video, reaction video. Pero paano po ang paggawa ng reaction video natin? So, nandun po, kailangan po, may limitasyon po yun. Kung tulad na sinabi ko ako halaga, okay, kunin natin sa morality ng person. Okay, we are going to talk about morality of a person. But I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's so difficult for us to question one's morality or it's, it's so difficult for us to question others morality in life kasi po sa nangyayari ngayon that is the kind of topic that people enjoy kaya nga itinawag na marital test diba it's, a the, it's about the morality of a person but who are we to question the morality of a person are you sure you are that morally as that of the person you're trying to make a reaction kahit sabihin po natin na Lahat ay ginagawa natin, lahat ng paraan ginagawa natin so that we are morally liable po sa ating ginagawa. Pero man doon, nandun pa rin ang isang bahagi ng salita na ginamit natin which is not morally accepted by whoever watch your video. Di po ba? Kaya nga, doon sa opinion, magkakaroon ka ng disclaimer. Isang klase ng opinion po yon. So I will apply that disclaimer. Ang video ko po na to ay wala po akong pinapatamaan. Ito po ay sarili kong opinion. Sarili ko lang po. So, there is now what I call a, discla a disclaimer. Hindi ko po, wala po akong pinapatamaan sa inyo. I'm just sharing with you the ideas that I know. So, I will have to say it again. Take it or leave it. Ganun lang po. So, yan. Ah, pag pinag-usapan po natin ang moraldad ng isang tao, napakahirap po. Kasi, Iba kayo yung kanyang moralidad, her values in life is different from the values in your life. Makiiba po. Parang dito po, when we talk about values, especially social values, dito po sa Amerika, we don't care. We don't care. Kahit anong ginagawa nila, kahit ilang asawa nila, divorce dito, divorce yan, who cares? It's their life. You have to respect the privacy. You have to respect them. Pero po sa Pilipinas, it's a big deal. Di po ba? Kasi we are not morally inclined to that kind of situation. Pero unti-unti po, kasi may mga tao, pwede sa akin, pero hindi pwede sa'yo. O, oh, papahiya kita pag ginawa mo, pero ikaw mismo gumagawa nun, di po ba? So, where is justice once again? So, we have that emotional justice and we have that opinionated justice. Pag-uusap, napakalawak po. But as, I, as I've said, I, I wanted to limit only on our life here in YouTube. At mayroon po akong disclaimer, hindi po ako nagmamagalik. Opinion ko pala mag-isa to, paniwalaan mo ninyo o hindi, at wala po akong pinapatamaan sa inyo. Yun lang po. Kasi napakahirap pong pakailaman ang, na, ang moralidad ng isang tao. Kaya nga pumapasok yung, we have to protect the privacy of each of us, especially if it concerns about children. Protectahan po natin sila. Hindi po tayo, it is because of the timeliness and the controversies of a certain situation, you are yawn now, trying to make a video. E kung ikaw, balik na rin ang sitwasyon, nangyari sa'yo yun, what will it do? Kasi yun ang ibig sabihin ng reaction of video on YouTube eh. You're going to make a video considering the timeliness of the situation and of course the controversies of certain actions which provokes cultural differences. Yun po, kaya kailangan gumawa ka ng video. Pero pag gumawa ka naman ng video, please be sensitive enough to respect both sides. Your side and the, the other person's side. Kasi, halimbawa nangyari sa'yo yun, 
nabalik na rin ang sitwasyon. Is that, is that the kind of tra uh, treatment you wanted to have? Of course not. Hindi po. So, dyan ka manggagaliit eh. Magsasalita ka ng kung ano-ano, tatawagin mo yung isang tao tama, tanga, Tatawa, tatawagin mo yung isang tao makate, tatawagin mo yung isang tao walang pinag-aralan, keso ganun-ganun. Ikaw, pag question mo, ang isang tao na wala siyang pinag-aralan, ikaw mismo ay mas mababa ang iyong pinag-aralan. Yun po ang dapat natin isipin. Once you question the morality of a person, Though you know, you don't have the right to say that you're far worse than that person. Kung yung pong bagay na yan, ay ating pag-iisipan. Okay, sometimes we can't avoid it. Ano doon ako? But take it on the positive side. Explain it. So instead of telling that this person had done that, try to say, we have to avoid doing certain things because the result is like this. Who will be affected? Yun po, ikwat po natin dun sa magandang aspect ng action na yon Para ikaw, nilagay mo ang kamay mo sa kumukulong tubig. Anong sasabihin mo dun sa tao na nilagay ng kamay niya sa kumukulong tubig? Are you going to say, ang tanga mo, ba't mo alam mo kumukulo? Ba't mo nilagay dyan? Lalo mo sinakta ng damdamin ng taong naglagay ng tubig. Although, <laughs> that is a sign, di ba? Anong sasabihin mo? Oh, nasaktan ka tuloy. Ay, ano ba? Ano, si Alika dito gawin natin para next time wag mo nang gawin. So that is a, another reaction. That is a scientific reaction. It is a response to a certain stimuli. Ganun po yun. So sa halip na kutsain po natin yung isang tao, please, tulungan po natin siya. Explain it. Sino ba mga naapektuhan sa ngayon? Sino? Do not question a person, especially the feeling of a person. Mayroon din po tayong damdamin. We have to respect that. We have to respect it. As I said, if that happens to you, ikaw ngayon, ang nilalait, tulad ng panglalait ninyo sa taong yon. what will you feel? Binash ka lang eh. Yung tao niya sinasabi niya, binabash kayo, nanggagalaiti ako sa galit. Eh, kayo naman na nauna eh. If you don't react that way, if you haven't made that kind of silly reaction, wala po. Tahimik po sana ang mundo. Tahimik po sana. At tamihimik din po sana ang buhay ng taong pinakailaman ninyo. Oo. Pag tumulong ka, wala na po tayong karapata alamin ang kanyang pribadong buhay. Tutulong lang tayo dahil gusto natin silang iingat. Hindi po natin gusto silang apakan pagkatapos natin silang tinulungan. Hindi po. Huwag po natin gawin yun. Napakasakit po. Oo, napakasit po. Kumita kayo ng pera. Sige, kung totoo, makatao kayo, ibigyan nyo natin ang kinita nyo pera sa kapamilyang yon. I will salute you. I will make a special video in your behalf. Kahit siya sabi ninyo, nobody ako, ha? Yan lang sabi dyan, na two gathers, one is nobody. Wait. Kung totoong makatao kayo, I challenge you right now. Lahat ng kinita nyo, ibigay nyo, pantulong po ninyo, doon sa mga taong nilait-lait ninyo. And I know, everybody will have to salute you. I myself, alam ko, hindi nyo papansin yan dahil sinabi na nga ninyo, na two gutters is one. Two gutters one is nobody. Yeah. Sige. Maghintay lang kayo. At papakita ni two gutters one kung sino kayo. I will accept your challenge right now. And accept my challenge as well. Lahat ng kinita nyo sa pagpapahiyan nyo sa pamilyang yon, ibigay nyo sa kanila para sila ay makabangon muli. Pag hindi po ninyo ginawa yan, tumahimik na lang po kayo. Napakahirap po. Napakahirap yung mga ginagawa nyo ganyan. Napakahirap po. Palagi po natin ilagay ang sarili natin sa kanilang sitwasyon. Pag nangyari po, bumaliktad po ang, pagkaka ang sitwasyon. What you gonna feel? What you gonna do? Di po ba? Ngayon, nananahimik na yung mga nagngangawa-ngawa at kuminsan nagagalit pa doon sa mga... Uh, nagsasabi sa kanila na hindi dapat mangyari yung ganun, tanggapin po ninyo, that is your counter-reaction. And when you make a reaction, every time myself, I will accept it. If there will be a counter-reaction on this video that I'm going to upload, well, I accept it. But do it in a professional way. What do I mean by professional way? Just like I'm doing to you. There is a respect. Nirespeto ko po kayo. Nirespeto ko po kayo. So, ang respeto po, hindi nabibili, hindi nakukuha, o hindi nalang dumadapo sa'yo. 
pinaghihirapan po yon at kusang ibinibigay po ng mga taong nagre-respeto sa inyo. Yun lang po. Napakahirap po. Nainit po dito sa loob ng apartment. <laughs> Tapos ay... Kasi po, ang heat dito sa apartment is centralized po. So, we cannot control it. Once na below 50 kami, full blast kagad ang heat sa building. So, hindi po tayo perfecto. ba? Diba? So, when you make a reaction, there will always be a reply, an answer, a rejoinder, or an opposite, as an opposite of your reaction. So, isipin po natin yon. Minsan po, kasi, kaya mga, mga viewers din, gumagamit po din ng mga salitang ganun. Dahil minsan, because yung nafe-feel po natin, we feel it. Kaya, ako, I'm just like that. Ganyan din ako. Minsan, galit na galit. Gusto, gusto kong talagang kuwan. So, I have to type. Minsan, yung sa comment, ako comment ako doon. Then, once nasabi ko na sa comment ko, yung gusto kong sabihin, na alam ko nakakasakit ng damdamin, then, i-delete ko na po. I-delete ko na. Kasi, alam ko, masakit yun eh. Ayoko